Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are not new. That's not how I wanted to start this. Let's start over. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Brittany and I have been doing musical theater for many, many years. But I've been doing it since kindergarten. I've been performing in church and school musicals all throughout my high school. I wasn't in high school when I was in kindergarten. All throughout my school journey. Then doing community theater since graduating high school until now. I thought it would be fun to share some embarrassing moments. I compiled a list. When I look at it, it's quite short compared to the amount of shows that I've done. I also cannot remember a lot of the embarrassing moments. I probably have so many more, so there will probably be a part two, but for now, we're gonna start with these. Some of these are doing musicals or plays where I'm acting. Some of them are when I was performing in front of my school, singing by my, from, from myself, and also being on worship team. Yes, I have embarrassing moments from being on the church worship team. I actually have two. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's get into it. The first one I wanna share is probably one of the most, like when I think of embarrassing moments, I think just that's it. In grade 12 drama class, we did Aladdin. I played the genie in one, just one little song, Friend Like Me. So my costume was, was it a tank top? Oh, it must've been a tube top. Oh, I think it was like a tube top. It was a black tube top. And I was wearing a black bra. During the show, during the song, I look down and I see that it's down here under my bra. Oh, I, I see it slipping. It's, it's slipping, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, we fixed it, we good. So that was probably, which is like, I don't know if people would have noticed or if they were like, oh, it's just uh, like a normal tank top just lifted up, like folded over. I don't know, but my shirt completely fell down. So we love that. So that was in grade 12. Another one that happened in grade 12, actually three of these happened in grade 12. For the musical that we did was Cinderella and I played one of the queens. We were double cast, so I was one of the queens. And in act two, the top of act two is like the ball scene where everybody's dancing and the king and queen are sitting off to the side. I had the first line. This was during dress rehearsal, thankfully, but I was getting changed into my queen dress. It was a like a big ball gown. So it was like a corset. So I had to like, you know, had a team of people. Thankfully it was during intermission that we could change, but I don't know if it, it, nobody decided to tell us, tell me that we were starting. So everybody was just on stage already waiting for me. They're like, um, we're starting. And I'm like, oh, well, thank you for telling me. I saunter on stage, do a thing. And I'm like, literally nobody decided to tell me that we were starting. Cool, cool, cool. Because I was playing the queen. I was Julie Andrews in that moment. A queen is never late. Everyone else is simply early. And I milked that. And here's another one for grade 12. There was this theater festival thing where me and a bunch of my friends, we did this play and we weren't miked. So it was just projection. I played a Regina George type character and in one of the scenes I got punched in the nose and I fell off the chair. Now we had practiced falling so that I could fall without hurting myself. I fell off the chair and I landed on my elbow. And then as I, cause then I immediately run off stage. I get punched in the face, I fall, I go, my nose. And then I run off stage. If you're miked, if you've ever done theater or you've ever seen a show, especially like community theater, somebody's off stage and their mic is still on and they say something, you can hear them. We're not miked, we don't have that issue. But if you talk, they're gonna hear you. I went off stage and it's just like this little nook where you're not on stage, but you're not outside. So you're kind of like against a wall. And then there's the door to the hallway. I was in there. And so when I ran off stage, I was like, I hit my elbow. I thought I whispered it. I thought it was fine. And then afterwards I told my sister and she was like, yeah, I heard you. And I was like, whoops. 
I don't know if I've ever been caught saying something off stage when I am mic'd. I've never been told that. Not that I remember. I've been caught off stage without a mic. I think that's worse. Maybe my projection is just real good. Okay, should we get into some more high school stuff? Because everything else is, I'm pretty sure, after high school. So let's just get rid of the high school stuff. Okay. This one, um, this is probably, so this was not a theater performance. This was me on stage, myself, my feelings, no character to hide behind. It was me singing in front of most of the school. I don't know what on my channel is still public of these videos, but when I started making videos, this was many, many years ago. So around this time in my life, when I was just posting videos of me singing because I love singing. I do, I do love singing, but I was not a good singer. I could carry a tune, but all the songs that I decided to sing were not in my range. I would just sing them because I enjoyed singing them. I know now to find songs in my range that I can actually sing. Back then I did not. When I was in grade nine, my school had this singing competition like American Idol. Round one, everybody, anybody could join, anybody could sing. It was like the audition. And then you kind of go like, okay, you're good, you make it past, and then they have the, the final thing is like a huge assembly. And this is probably one of the most popular events at the school, like lunchtime event thing. So a lot of people showed up. So a few things, one, I was nervous because singing in front of everybody, I had rarely had a solo. Yeah, this was grade nine and I was still in my shell. I was still very shy. And to be fair now, even though I'm a little bit more out of my shell, a little bit more confident, um, I would probably still, if I chose that same song to sing live in front of people, I would be nervous. I'm beating around the bush too much. I just don't want to tell the story, but I'm gonna tell the story. I sang My Life Will Suck Without You by Kelly Clarkson. Whoa, powerhouse, right? I don't have a vocal range like Kelly Clarkson. You could probably compare me to, why was my first thought album in the Chipmunks? <laughs> I don't know who you would compare my voice range to, but I'm an alto, okay? I don't know how to belt, and especially then. So the song I chose was not the best for me. I get up on stage, I'm standing there, and I'm singing, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna forget the words. I don't remember forgetting the words. I don't think I did. I'm singing the song, right? standing here. There's lights everywhere. So you can't see a majority of people, but I can see people standing here. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are people. And I know that they, they're in my grade and they don't like me and I don't like them. And oh my gosh, <sighs> they're the popular people and they're judging me so hard right now. Not giving any performance, standing there singing a song that is way out of my range. It gets to the bridge and the mic starts cutting out and people start laughing. Are they laughing at me? Probably not. They're laughing at the situation. Well, maybe they were laughing at me. I gave them a reason to. The mic cut out and I was like, they're laughing. They're laughing at me. They're laughing at me. Oh my gosh, I am, huh? This is the worst day of my life. And I got so upset. So afterwards I finished, they applauded because yay, you did the thing. And I get off stage and one of my friends, he's not a good singer, but he went out there and he performed to be bad. People were laughing. It was a comedic act. Whether he went before or after me, but it, it was like, I was crying because I was just so upset of how I did because I was like, I, it was so bad. I was so nervous. They were laughing, you know, everything that just kind of was going on in my head at that point. And he came back after singing this wonderful rendition of the song. And I'm like, okay, that made me feel better. So I'm very happy that he was there to kind of lighten the mood a little bit. And people were nice about it afterwards. Like, I'd see them in the hall and I'm like, oh my gosh, these people just saw me. Like, I can't believe I just did that. People were like, oh, you did like, good job. I'm thinking, you know, they're just saying that to be nice. Maybe they were, but also they could probably see that I was nervous. Like if I would do the same thing, like if I saw somebody up there and they were nervous and they weren't necessarily amazing, I would want to be like, hey, great job. Not necessarily great performance, but like you put yourself out there, that's awesome. Way to go. To my ninth grade self, you did it. 
great job I'm proud of you for getting up there i don't think there's video footage of it because my sister recorded it and i probably told her to delete it and burn it and never show that to me ever in grade 12 i did try to redeem myself i sang stay with me by sam smith and i was learning for so long to play it on the piano and the day came and i was practicing and then we had a substitute drama teacher and he was like oh you should just play the left hand because the right hand would be what i was singing and i was like that makes sense but also respectfully no i've been practicing this for so long i'm not gonna change like i'm performing literally next block i don't remember how that one went it wasn't awful i don't remember anything embarrassing about it so maybe it went better in one of the most recent musicals that i've done it was elf the musical and this one literally nobody noticed nobody cares it's not even that embarrassing it was more of like a what like i made such a big deal out of it my castmates didn't even care they didn't even notice so i had two pairs of shoes in different scenes one i had jazz shoes and another i had character shoes so i went from wearing jazz shoes changed my costume and i'm supposed to be in a different like office type costume with my character shoes on which are like heels so i'm ready i go out on stage and i'm like why does this feel weird on my feet why do i not hear the clippity clop of my character shoes on the stage and i look down and i realize i'm still wearing my jazz shoes and i was like well it was more of a that's so dumb of me like didn't even didn't even clue in until i'm on stage and i'm like well there's nothing i can do my shoes didn't matter in the scene it's not like it was a tap number where you need those shoes i was in a tap number in the end of the show but i was wearing jazz shoes because i can't tap so that wasn't really embarrassing it was more of just like a oh my gosh i can't believe i did that the last one is two from being on the worship team at church just like performing in front of my entire school this is not a character this is not a theatrical performance this is me leading the church congregation in worshiping god so before we had wireless mics like we do now we had mics with a cord that stood on a stand and i had seen some other people in different churches they would hold the mic and i was like can we try that so we did and so i held it and i was like okay great during the service um I, I was singing and all of a sudden the cord falls out of the microphone and i'm like what i think i just kind of acted like nothing happened so since then i was like okay we're just gonna leave the mics on the stand until we got wireless mics and now i hold them also the corded mics were also old so we we're like so those are fragile let's leave them don't touch them and nobody gets hurt nobody gets embarrassed right so then when we got wireless mics we would have to change the batteries so in between practice and the actual service i had changed the batteries clearly did not think about how the batteries went in because i just put the batteries in put the little thing over top called it a day went to sing the songs why am i not hearing myself why is my mic not on there's batteries in there what happened and then this tech guy <laughs> he runs down from the sound booth which is on the balcony he runs down runs down the aisle onto stage hands me another mic and then runs back and i'm like that was so embarrassing <laughs> i feel like there was something else that happened in worship team but i can't remember so we're not going to talk about that if i do remember and if i remember any of the other embarrassing moments that i've had because i'm sure i have that's gonna be it for this video thank you for listening to my embarrassing moments from theater I am currently in a play right now, so maybe there will be another embarrassing moment, but I hope not. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>